Hey guys, welcome to the first getting started video. My name is Jason, the designer of the mod, and I'll be talking to you about how to get your application set up. So for this first part, we are going to go through launching. So once you've downloaded the zip file, uh, make sure to extract all the different files, and then you just run the executable that is called infinitydesigner.exe. There's also a readme included that's got lots of information uh, it, lots of information so uh, make sure to take a second and look through that and see if it answers any of the questions you may have. Next we're going to set up the actual application to uh, point to your Dying Light 2 game. So this is critical when you are trying to actually save your work uh, as the engine will actually save everything immediately into Dying Light 2 so you don't have to do any heavy lifting yourself. So first we're just going to click on the set path and once you've got that open, you can then navigate. So I have my desktop shortcut, but you'll just need to find your path to the Dying Light 2 game. And then once you're in that folder, hit select folder. At any time, if you select a folder that does not have the executable, uh, it's basically doing all the work to try to find that executable. If you select the wrong folder, it will let you know uh, that it didn't find the executable and to try again. Uh, so you will need to point it to the actual Dying Light 2 folder for this to work. Next, we're going to have the custom output folder. So if you want to save your work outside of this application, uh, there will be updates in the future. So if you don't want to actually store everything inside the application and set this to an external path, you can use that here. So we can say set external path. And for example, I have this Infinity Designer folder inside my Dying Light 2 folder, but obviously you can put it anywhere you would like. Uh, we'll go ahead and set it to that folder. And then we have our custom content. So this is going to be actually any textures uh, that you've created for the game. Uh, if you want to actually load those in and see what they look like inside the editor, you can, or inside the mod tool rather, you can. Uh, so you can say set content path and wherever you have those set. So I have some custom textures set up inside this folder. So I'll go ahead and select this. And for now, don't worry about the data uh, section. We'll cover that in another video later. Go ahead and close our settings here. And then lastly, you can go ahead and log into Discord. So if you do have the Discord, if you're not a member of the Discord community for Infinity Designer, I highly recommend it. Um, I've already got things set up to where you can share your creations and members have already started sharing their different creations on here. So if you would like to be uh, part of the community that also shares their work, you can make sure to log in here and that will activate the code uh, in the character designer so that you can share your work. If you do not log in, it basically just won't show up a, it won't show up with a share button uh, so you can't actually share your work. Uh, outside of that, you can use the program as intended. Over here on the right uh, is the Discord button. So if you press this, it will invite you to the actual Discord uh, server. Below that is a YouTube uh, link that takes you straight to all the latest tutorials and videos for this application. Below that is my Patreon support and my Kofi, and then below that is GitHub. So uh, make sure to check out those links. Feel free to, you know, uh, join the community for sure. Uh, and I appreciate all the supporters who have come to uh, help support me through this journey. So thank you guys so much. Uh, we'll go ahead and show you what the login looks like. So if we click login to Discord, it will ask for permission. If you hit authorize, it'll give you a check, and then you should see your username underneath. That's everything for this first video. Thanks, guys.